Okay, before I start this video, I want to say one quick disclaimer. Motivation is nothing without discipline. Discipline is the foundation to everything, and motivation just gives you that extra boost. So if you're starting your journey or you're on personal development, make sure that you prioritize a basis and a structure, foundation to the house of all discipline and then motivation as an additive to that. So that's it. All right. There's two things that I do to stay motivated 98% of the time. And number one is creating your own enemy, which I want to give thanks to Andrew Tate and his Iron Mindset course because I got that directly from him. And then another one, you get it from anywhere, but it's just think of the alternative. So it depends what you're doing. But for me, when I'm working, it's the you old know, thinking about an alternative of a nine to five job. And if it's going to the gym, it's just being being weak. So you can pick whatever you want and make it yours. Okay, so the first one, creating your own enemy. Like I said, uh, give like all the credit to Andrew Tate and his Iron Mindset course for this. You can go watch that. You search up on YouTube. But the reason this works is because your enemy is yourself. It's going to be a version of you that's better in every endeavor. So for me, it's someone that outworks me all day long, goes to the gym earlier than me, is a lot stronger than me, has 10 times my bank balance, has the cars I want, the house I want, the location, everything. Everything that I'm working towards, he already has, and he's had it for a while, and he's been working. So any decision that I make, for instance, if I make a decision like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to work today. Like, for instance, right now, I have to work for the next six hours just because I had a little bit of school. I could be lazy and slack off, but what would, what would my enemy do? He would work twice as hard, so that's what I'm going to do. So it's all about thinking of him. So every decision I make, I always think about his perspective because you want to catch up you never catch up to him anytime you improve you always improve your enemy but besides the point this is how i stay motivated is i'm always thinking of the decision and think how would he do it i need to outwork him how would he do it how can i get closer to him so there's no more slack enough. there's no more skipping the gym because i know if i do that someone's gonna outwork me so this is very very beneficial and this has helped me so much so besides the pure competition that it builds, um, creating your enemy, there's one more thing is think about the alternative. This is pretty straightforward. For me, I'm a Forex trader. I've been trading since May 10th. And the alternative for me, and, and same goes with the gym. Uh, but for work, the alternative is sacrificing my fucking soul to a nine to five job that I'm going to hate for the next 50 years of my life. Having to work eight hours a day, five days a week, over time, all this, maybe a raise, maybe get up to six figures, but just my whole soul is put into that job. I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to waste my whole entire life on this job that they could fire me like that. They could get rid of me because I would be replaceable. So that really, really motivates me. It's to like, it lights a fire and it's like, okay, I'm never looking back. I have to get this. It's either I make this, it's either I make this work or I'm not, I'm dumb. I'm dead. It's either get rich or die trying. So that is very big for me, and obviously, I don't know what all you are doing and people watching this video, but just, just give it a shot. And yeah, it goes for the gym, too. With the gym, it's just simple. It's like, you're going to be a beta male, you're going to be weak, you're going to be 100, like, I used to be 115 pounds, so it's like, 5'1". So, it's either, every time I don't go to the gym, or I, I don't feel like going to the gym, and by the way, I've never felt like going to the gym probably for the past two years, but here's a prime example of how these two things work together. I don't feel like going to the gym. I'm thinking the decision in my mind. What would my enemy do? He would go to the gym, work out, no matter how he feels, come back and work a full day. And then what's the alternative? I don't go to the gym. I start slacking off. I start losing muscle and I just get compl complacent and I get lazy. Same thing with work. Don't want to work. I think what he would do. And I think of the alternative. Would be, okay, if I don't work, then I'm just going to have to get prepared for that nine to five job. So that's a quick video. But... And I, I know, like, I really don't believe in much motivation, but this is just, like I said, additive to discipline. So if you need an extra boost, just keep this at the back of your mind. Give it a shot. So I have a self-improvement Discord, and it's all free, nothing paid for. I have a couple rules. Number one is profile photo has to be a photo of yourself, and then you have to have your name as your first name, last initial. So it's just all professional. I don't want to be talking to someone with an anime profile or some random gamer tag name. You know what I mean? So every Friday we will kick people out that don't have that. And the way you move, it, it's ranked as a, like from the chessboard. So it's from pawn to queen's the highest, I'm the king. But for you guys, you go up to queen. 
and it's all about it's all about just keeping each other motivated uh, just personal development self improvement related all about that and there's a lot of good people in there so nothing to sell you it's all, it's all free we're gonna host weekly calls but i'm just building building up the uh, like pack the men first the wolf pack before i want to introduce the calls and everything so that's gonna be it feel free to like subscribe if you want to i really don't care this is just a journal for me so I'll see you boys later